For the first time ever, IBM will make available new technologies for fans of the U.S. Open's digital property. So with me to explain exactly what IBM is doing is Noah Syken, the Vice President of Sports and Entertainment Partnerships at IBM. So hi, Noah. Hey, thanks for having me. All right. So give me an overview. What's IBM doing with the U.S. Open this year? Yeah, so we run the digital properties for the U.S. Open, the official website, the mobile applications. Uh, and this year, with fans not being able to participate in person, we're really thinking about how to draw them into the competition, and maintain that connection between the USTA, which operates the U.S. Open, and their fans and the players. And so we're using artificial intelligence to do that in some new and exciting ways. Okay, so kind of explain how um, will people be able to see this or use it? Like, what will the actual application be? So we're running a program called Open Questions with Watson. And there's so many questions in the world of sports. Everybody loves to have that question. Who's the greatest men's player? Who's the greatest women's player? Who might be the greatest quarterback if you're talking about football? Uh, but these are questions that... Um, Everybody has. And so Watson has gone out and searched over 14 million documents and developed the point of view about eight questions that we're seeding with the audience. And we're inviting uh, fans to come to usopen.org slash open questions and express their opinion about some of these uh, issues. Again, who's the greatest men? Men, what's the great, greatest rivalry in tennis? After people express their opinions, we're going to scoop up all those opinions, combine it with all everything that's been written in popular culture about those questions, and come up with a hypothesis about the answer to those uh, to those topics. And we think that fans they'd love to express themselves in social media uh, in all different kinds of ways. And so uh, this is one way folks are going to be able to engage. Okay, and I'm right that there's no audience, live audience, right at the U.S. Open this year because of COVID. So this is That's true. Uh, so this is really a a way for tennis fans to still be engaged. Exactly, and we're you know there's a couple other ways we're bringing artificial intelligence uh, into the stadium through some uh, sound recognition that we've been uh, working on over the past couple of years. Uh, so there's a couple different ways we're bringing artificial intelligence to bear for fans. Okay, so you mentioned AI. You're using what other technologies? Is it cloud, machine learning? I mean, what all do you use yeah, to so make this experience? Yeah, so all of this runs on a very stable and secure hybrid cloud, and that's uh, particularly important. One of the things that we're dealing with is that the uh, operational teams, the USTA and IBM, can't be on site. We normally have 50-plus uh, people on site, and so the cloud is actually giving all of those teams the ability to operate remote. The digital transformation that we've been on with the USTA for now 29 years um, has actually positioned them really in the perfect spot. So combination of cloud, AI, and really robust security is uh, what we're bringing to the table this year. So what do you think, Noah? I mean, just what's your opinion? Like once we're able to go to things again, will we always have some kind of technology incorporated in this? Like what does the future look like for sports and digitization? Yeah, well, I... Listen, I think that this is a really fascinating era in sports. Yeah, fans can't go to stadiums and I can't wait to get back. Um, but the reality is, is there's a lot of innovation happening really quickly across the entire sports landscape. And some of it's going to carry over in, you know, into the future. Some of these new kinds of AI engagements are uh, certainly going to be part of it. Some of the virtual reality programs and augmented reality programs that leagues are starting to pr produce for fans are going to be a heritage of this era. Uh, and then certainly 5G. Uh, when it comes back into stadiums, it's going to uh, provide a foundation for all kinds of new experiences that uh, we're just starting to think about now. Wow. I mean, that could be a really fascinating future. So, um, and, and this could open up things. Somebody who can't make it to see the U.S. Open in New York, if they're in Europe or something, can still engage and feel like they're a part of it. So this really could, in the long run, be a great thing for sports and entertainment. Yeah, well, it's, it's tough to, you know, see the forest through the trees right now, but yeah. um, certainly um, everything's going to change in the future. And I think this is going to be a catalyst for a lot of that change. Okay. will be very interesting to watch. Thank you so much, Noah, for sharing that. So um, it'll be fun to see how it all works out. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Thank you.